We're learning more about the shooter's texts and posts on social media, raising questions about flagging the warning signs that someone might be preparing to harm others. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more on that. Good morning, Pierre. Robin, good morning. So what is the responsibility of social media companies? The companies have said they need to protect the privacy of their users and their right to free speech. So it's becoming clear in a lot of these cases they were not monitoring their users, especially private messages and chat groups. And do the companies really have the technology to responsibly monitor millions of social media posts? Law enforcement will monitor public forums known to promote hate or extremism, but Robin, to dig deeper, they often need a tip and evidence to get a warrant. And Pierre, in this case, in this case, law enforcement is looking at that social media company, Ubo? That's right. Ubo is primarily known for live streaming, making it difficult for officials to track. The app is also not typically on law enforcement's radar because some say it's primarily a dating app for teenagers. In this case, were any of the suspects posts alone enough to notify law enforcement and stop him from buying two assault rifles? The Texas governor says there were no flashing lights and that the only messages indicating imminent danger were those sent 30 minutes before the attack. Meta, parent company for Facebook, says those were private person-to-person -person messages. Essentially, they were not in a public forum, so there was no time to react and no one was connecting the dots. All right, Pierre, we thank you. And we're going to have much more, of course, on Uvalde coming up. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.